everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom and I am here to show you how to use our candy grid dies. So this is the candy grid die. It's a one piece item. And what you do is you can use it with any of our St. Patrick's Day candy grid style stamp sets. These are two of them. Um, I went ahead and stamped the St. Patrick's Day one out. I'm using the uh, relief of the cut candy grid die just to line it up with my stamped images. So you'll basically cut out all of these little circles all at once with the stitching. So you can decorate nine candies at once, which is pretty handy. So I always keep one of the leftover release cuts um, from the candy grid in my package, and then I use it to line up my die. So basically I get it in place, and then I will tape it down. Then I will line up my grid. The grid will sort of snap in place like a puzzle. You just got to move it around till it snaps in place. There you go. Oops, get it in there. Then I usually tape that in place too because I've had some horrific accidents. Let's be honest. We all make mistakes when we're crafting. And once you stamp something, that's really annoying <laughs> when you screw it up when you're cutting it out. Now also you can do the same thing with just pattern paper. And there you go. So what I do is I use um, um, glue dots. Sorry, I had a little bit of a brain fart there. I use glue dots. And what I'll do is I'll run them along the glue dot paper and, and have the glue dots sticking to each one. And then I quickly stick them down onto my little Hershey Kisses. Now these could also be put on little um, nuggets, on little Hershey nuggets, the tops of them. Um, there are candy wrap dies that you can wrap your like a little Hershey nugget, on, nugget with first and then decorate that with this little rounded uh, sentiments or little images. Um, you can actually use them for sentiments too on cards. So that's kind of fun too. And it's got some great little stitching detail on there. You can decorate any candy with these, let's be honest. And um, like I said, you could use pattern paper, which is fun. And basically I just pop them onto each Hershey Kiss. Now I've made treats with these in the past, you know, so that these um, go in our clear bags or any of our treats. And what's nice is you dump out your treat and your your or your little treat box and all your treats are decorated, just like that. So that is it. So you can pick these up at the Jada Blossom store. And thank you as always for watching my video and hopefully we'll see, we will see you soon in my next one. Bye everyone.